Frozen desserts have remained popular through the ages. One of the earliest known frozen dessert was made with winter snow that was mixed with fruit and drizzled with molasses. An ice cream is made from milk fats, while a frozen dessert is made from vegetable oil fats. The food regulators define frozen dessert or the frozen confection as a product obtained by freezing a pasteurized milk prepared with milk fat and edible vegetable oil and fat the milk fat is used in such desserts for freezing the objectives of today's session are after this session the students will be able to describe the types of frozen desserts that includes churn frozen desserts still frozen desserts other types of frozen desserts and the classical frozen desserts students will be able to tell the commodities used in making frozen desserts they'll be able to identify the equipments used in making frozen desserts and they'll understand the concept of storage and service of frozen desserts frozen desserts are commonly called as cold desserts they are made by freezing a flavored mixture they may be based on flavored water such as shaved ice ice pops sherbet sorbet or snow cones they are ba also based on fruit purees such as sorbet on milk cream that is most of the ice creams on custards like frozen custard and some ice creams on mousses like semi farado and others the types of frozen desserts include churn frozen desserts still frozen desserts other types of frozen desserts and the classical frozen desserts the various kinds of frozen desserts are mainly classified on the basis of methods employed for the preparing them the two most commonly adopted methods for preparing frozen desserts are churn freeze and still freeze in case of churn freeze the mixture is allowed to freeze while it is being churning all the time this method helps in producing a product that is smooth on the palate because of very small ice particles churning also incorporates air into the mixture thereby making it light and foamy still frozen desserts are mixed and frozen without churning they also need a smooth texture and soft mouth feel depending upon the kind of desserts the mixture is churned prior to freezing or air is incorporated in many ways such as adding whipped eggs and cream churn frozen desserts these desserts are churned constantly during the freezing cycle the process of churning and freezing at the same time does not allow water crystals to form and the resulting desserts are smooth and creamy ice cream and sherbet are churn frozen meaning they are mixed constantly while being frozen if they were not churned they would freeze into solid blocks of ice the churning keeps the ice crystals small and incorporates air into the dessert the texture or the mouth feel depends on the following first is types of churn frozen dessert second the ingredients that are used in its preparation third the process of making the mixture and the fourth what are the equipments that are being used in churning now let's discuss the types of churn frozen desserts the first is french ice cream french ice cream is also known as frozen custard this type of ice cream is commonly enriched with egg yolks and butter full cream milk is combined with dairy cream and sugar and is cooked with whipped egg yolks until a thick sauce is formed thereafter flavors and stabilizers are added and the mixture is allowed to cool in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours before it can be churned second is american ice cream it is made in the same manner as the french ice cream but no egg is used and stabilizer is used instead third is ice milk ice milk is the low fat ice cream these are ice creams made with dairy products that have low butter fat content 
eggs and butter are never added to these ice creams. At number 4 is frozen yogurt. This ice cream can be made in French, American or ice milk style. It contains yogurt in addition to the milk and cream. The fifth is gelato. This is the Italian version of ice cream. It is generally made with very low fat content and are often made using only milk and no dairy cream. Some fruit based gelato are made by combining fruit puree, sugar, stabilizers and cream and churned until smooth. And then comes sorbet. Sorbet is also known as sherbet. Sherbet is made from milk, fruit or fruit juice, stabilizers and sweeteners and has about twice as much sweetener as ice cream in order to provide the proper texture. Since fat is in part responsible for providing the smoothness and a pleasant texture, sugar is added to make up for its absence or reduced quantities. Sherbet must have 1 to 2 percent milk fat and 2 to 5 percent of milk solids. Let's now discuss the method of preparing ice cream. Firstly, heat up the milk and side by side whisk egg yolks and sugar together until they are creamy. Now to the whisked eggs and egg yolks add the hot milk and cook it over a range until the mixture coats the back of the spoon. After cooking, keep the mixture for cooling. Churn the mixture until smooth and creamy. After that, freeze the temperature at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Now the method for preparing sorbets. For preparing sorbet, you need water, fruit juice and sugar. You need to churn it while constantly freezing it. The density should be between 18 degree to 20 degree Baume. Baume is the unit that is used to measure the density of the sugar syrup. Now addition of egg whites before churning. It is used because it gives an airy texture to the preparation. Very important to note the precautions while making sorbets. Firstly, we should understand that sugar is very really important ingredient that provides texture to the final product. Secondly, density of the sorbet changes with the type of fruits being used. Third, density of sugar should be measured. Sorbets should be rapidly frozen while churning. Freezing sorbets at slow rate will result in crystal formation. Sometimes corn syrup is also added to prevent the formation of crystals. The mixture of the sorbet should be constantly churned while being frozen. A very important term to remember is overrun. Overrun is the increase in volume due to incorporation of air when freezing ice cream or churning ice cream. It is expressed as a percentage of the original volume of the mix. For example, if it doubles in volume, then the amount of increase is equal to the original volume and the overrun is 100%. Some overrun is necessary to give a smooth light texture. If ice creams have too much overrun, it will be airy and foamy and will lack flavor. It was once thought that ice cream should have from 80% to 100% overrun and that less would make it heavy and pasty. This may be true for ice creams containing gums and other stabilizers. However, some high quality manufacturers produce rich and expensive ice cream with as little as 20% overrun. Overrun is affected by many factors including the types of freezing equipments either vertical or horizontal, the length of churning time, the fat content of the mix, the percentage of fat solids in the mix and how full the freezer is or the amount of liquid in the freezer and also the texture and consistency of the mixture. Let's now talk about still frozen desserts. A still frozen dessert is one that is not stirred 
or churned during freezing. The air mixed into ice cream by churn freezing is important to its texture. Without this air, the ice cream would be hard and heavy rather than smooth and creamy. Desserts that are still frozen, that is, frozen in a container without mixing, also must have air mixed into them in order to be soft enough to eat. In this case, the air is incorporated before freezing by mixing in whipped cream, whipped egg whites or both. Types of still frozen desserts includes granitas. Granita is coarse crystalline ice made without egg whites. It is similar to sorbet but have low concentration of sugar. The example is Barafka Gola. Then comes Kulfi. Kulfi is one of the common Indian still frozen dessert. It is flavored with saffron, green cardamom, etc. Usually served with faluda. Then comes parfait. In North America, the term parfait usually means an ice cream dessert consisting of layers of thin ice cream and topping in a tall thin glass. The original parfait, however, is a still frozen dessert, frozen in a tall thin mold and unmolded for service. The mixture for parfaits consisting of three elements, a thick sweet egg yolk foam, an equal volume of whipped cream and flavorings. The other types of frozen desserts that are also referred to as miscellaneous frozen desserts. The category of these desserts include bomb, frozen mousses and souffles, iced charlottes and iced gatos. Bomb. The parfait mixture is also called a bomb mixture because it is used in the production of a dessert called a bomb. The bomb is one of the most elegant frozen dessert and it is often elaborately decorated with fruits, whipped cream, pâté for sex and other items after unmolding. It is made by lining a chilled mold with a layer of ice cream or sharbat and freezing it hard. The center is then filled with a bomb mixture of compatible flavor and then frozen again. Mixtures for frozen mousses can also be used to fill bombs and, and as can regular ice cream but a special bomb mixture is most often used. Frozen mousses and souffles. Frozen mousses are light frozen desserts containing whipped creams. Although they are all similar to character because of their whipped cream content, the basis for them are made in several ways. Three types of preparations are included. Firstly, mousse with Italian meringue, mousse with syrup and fruit base, and third, mousse with custard base. The mixture for bomb and parfait can also be used for mousses. The simplest method for serving mousse is to pour the mixture into individual serving and then freeze them. The mixture can also be poured into molds of various shapes. After unmolding, the mousse is cut into portions and decorated with whipped cream and appropriate fruits, cookies or other items. Some of the classical frozen desserts that are very popular around the world are Baked Alaska, Kasata. Baked Alaska, also known as Omelette Surprise, is a dessert consisting of ice cream and cake topped with brown marine. The dish is made of ice cream placed in a pie dish, lined with slices of sponge cake and topped with marine. The entire dessert is then placed in an extremely hot oven for, for a brief time, long enough to firm and caramelize the marine but not long enough to begin melting the ice cream. And then is cassata. Cassata is a traditional sweet that consists of round sponge cake moistened with fruit juices and liqueur and layered with ricotta cheese and candied fruit, a filling also used with cannoli. Cassata has a shell of marzipan, pink and green colored icing and decorative designs. Cassata 
also contains candied or dry fruits and nuts. Some other examples of classical frozen desserts are fried ice cream, sundaes and coops. Fried ice cream is a dessert made from a breaded scoop of ice cream that is quickly deep fried creating a warm crispy shell around the still cold ice cream. The dessert is commonly made by taking a scoop of ice cream frozen well below the temperature at which the ice cream is generally kept, possibly coating it in raw egg, rolling it in cornflakes or cookie crumbs and briefly deep frying it. The extremely low temperature of ice cream prevents, prevents it from melting while being fried. It may be sprinkled with cinnamon and sugar and even whipped cream or honey may be used. Sundays. Sundays consist of one or two scoops of ice cream or sherbet placed in a dish or glass and topped with any number of syrups, fruits, toppings and garnishes. They are quick to prepare, unlimited in variety and as simple and as elegant as you wish, served in an ordinary soda fountain glass or in a silver cup or even in crystal champagne glass. Coops. Coops are often elegant attractively decorated desserts. Many types have been handed down from the classic cuisine of years ago. Some classic coupes and similar desserts that are still popular today are Arlesin, Black Forest, Jacquees, Mary Louise, Peach Melba, Pierce Belle Helen and Nana Split. Commodities used in making frozen desserts. These are sugar, eggs, milk and other dairy products, starch such as custard powder or rice powder, stabilizers such as xenothin, gorgum and gelatin, emulsifiers, butter and flavors. Stabilizers Stabilizers are natural and chemical ingredients that prevent the ice cream to melt away rapidly. Emulsifiers these are natural and chemical ingredients used to help frozen desserts attain a smooth and a creamy texture and retain homogeneity. Xenothin is a type of polysaccharide made by fermenting glucose or sucrose with bacteria. Gorgum. It is obtained from the endosperm of gore beans and it is used as a stabilizer. Ice cream makers may prepare the mixture by employing the hand cranking method or by employing an electric motor. The resulting preparation is often chilled through either pre-cooling the machine or by employing a machine that freezes the mixture. An ice cream maker has to simultaneously freeze the mixture while churning it so as to irrigate the mixture and keep the ice crystals small. As a result, most ice creams are ready to consume immediately. So, let's discuss the equipments used in the production of frozen desserts. First is hand crank ice cream machine and second is vertical freezing machine. The other examples are horizontal freezing machine, continuous freezing machine and bomb mold. Some of the light equipments include sacrometer, vermicelli press and ice cream containers. Now let's discuss how the frozen desserts are to be stored and served. Frozen desserts should be rapidly frozen as soon as it is prepared to avoid melting. Ice creams and sorbets are stored at a temperature between minus 80 degrees Celsius and minus 20 degrees Celsius. Before serving, move it in minus 10 degrees Celsius to minus 11 degrees Celsius. Always use an ice cream scoop to serve ice cream or sorbet. Sorbets can also be pre-portioned in chilled glasses and stored in freezers. Quality factors for an ice cream includes smoothness that is the size of the crystals, overrun that is the increase in the volume due to incorporation of air when freezing ice cream and mouthfeel that is it should melt in your mouth turning to a smooth not too heavy liquid. 
Ice cream and frozen desserts are a food category that is characterized by normally being aerated and eaten while frozen. The term frozen desserts are used to characterize both products containing non-dairy fats and non-dairy products. It is perfect for a snack or after a meal. Frozen desserts are so refreshing. Thank you for listening.